so here we are. Um, it's the oldest mystery to engage young people, to sort of like crack that armor of apathy. Can it even be done, or is this, is youth the time not to be into politics? Oh, no, I think that I think that youth youth want to be involved in politics, but what they're they're, they fear is that they're not going to be challenged. And um, I think what the, one of the things that's happening here, and the reason that this convention is a success, is that there are so many youth, and they are being challenged. Mm. And I think that what they want to do is, is to simply have the opportunity uh, to be heard and to act. And uh, I think that you, if, we, if we do that, I think you'll find a tremendous involvement of youth in the Liberal Party, but I also think that you'll, you'll find a great involvement of youth in the political process. Okay. Um, the second most popular resolution on, this, on the convention site before the convention was the legalization of marijuana. Um, has, it, has it finally come a time where, where that issue will be uh, dealt with, or do you think prohibition is here to stay? <laughs> well, it's not the first time uh, that that kind of a resolution has been... Uh, has been has been put forth. I think. Well, I'm not going to prejudge what's going to happen. Why? Why did? Why does it cause people to sort of laugh a little bit if it's if it's if it's talked about in an adult conversation? Wouldn't uh, wouldn't the the conversation be more substantive and less about sort of the PR spin and and the the sort of uh, the the bad um, image that it has altogether? Isn't there a way to sort of get beyond that and have an adult discussion? Well, I think that there. I think I think there should. But be, to be fair, I think there have been adult discussions and there were strong opinions on both sides. Okay. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much.